Hey everybody, Ben, Somerville Gardener, and we are dealing with the remnants of Tropical Storm Debbie. As you can probably see in here, it's still raining. Still have some lovely clouds overhead. Thankfully, it hasn't been very windy at all. But today I'm going to be talking about the wood chips and how a tropical storm and over 13 inches of rain has impacted my backyard. Just might need to give this a minute to let up. These bands usually don't take that long. And as expected, just a few minutes later, the sun comes out again. And it's just another pretty day. Well, except for over there. Don't pay attention to that. Or that over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start at my back door. I don't know why I walked over this far. I was probably looking for a rainbow or something. Okay, so starting from the back door, uh, all of this, um, no squishy. I'm very surprised. Uh, where I've got the gutter coming down right here, and there's a nice little pile of rocks down through here to help get the water away from the house quickly. That all seems to work pretty well. But as soon as I step over to the other side, I'm not sure if you can hear that. It pretty much immediately becomes squishy. Now this main part of my backyard, I already knew was just a slosh pit. Every time it would rain, even just a little bit, it was guaranteed to flood every single time because it just didn't want to drain. And one of the hopes of the wood chips was gonna be soaking up some of the water partially, giving it a little bit of a raise to help shed that water off to the side. And I do believe that it has worked for the most part. But of course, there are some caveats to that. Right here in this main path travel way, it is just super squishy. Hopefully this comes across on the camera well, how it's just super squishy. And while it's kind of cool, it's kind of gross at the same time. And we had very little float away of the wood chips. I'm not really sure that any of them floated away. And as I walk across the backyard, there's just some little squishes here and there. And you can see from wherever it turns brown like that. Ooh, it's just instantly squish. squish. And it kind of continues around over here. And these are just some of the low-lying areas that I already knew about, which is why I made them into the walk paths, just because they're going to get squishy anyway. So why try and plant something there? It's just not going to grow well. And over here on the side of the house here, where the gutter comes off the other side of the roof, uh, yeah, it just kind of pulls up and eventually slides over here. And this is just extra squishy over here, which I already knew that this is a pooling puddle already. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not a good sign. But that's also the area on another video, if you saw that one, where I dug a little ditch to help, before the storm, get some of that water out. Now on the back side of the hill here, where we've got the retaining wall here, holding up all these, uh, it's not really holding up uh, anything, really. I just made a retaining wall for fun. But all these wood chips over here are very, very deep. And even though they are very, very deep, the trees themselves don't have but maybe an inch or two of mulch on top of their root ball uh, right about there uh, so that's about two knuckles that's about two inches maybe there and that's as much wood chips as actually on top of it it's volcanoed up so that any of the water that does come up kind of sheets down and i think i've shown this in another video where i'll basically pull back the mulch set the root ball of the plant at ground level then surround it with a few bags of jungle growth and then top cover it with just a little bit of mulch, just enough to keep the soil moist and the roots happy as they kind of form down into the, the sludge, if you will. And for the most part, the drainage coat goes away from the, the trees enough now to where there's not really any drainage issues or any, uh, well, no, it's still soggy around there. But the main tree roots and plant roots are able to stay up above the water level and not get drowned out. The roots that go down into the soil looking for water, well, they don't have to go very far. And as I continue over here, coming down the back fence side, something unexpected happened with all this rain. Uh, this right here is new. This was all covered up to the top of the fence. So I'm not sure what point they just got overrun with water because this is going out towards the, uh, the storm drain back here. The way water is supposed to travel is from back here at these trees down through right here where you can kind of see that there's like nothing planted right here there's actually a ditch dug under here a good anywhere from eight inches to 14 inches deep to the point to where that's one of two 
tree trunks from a willow tree that were buried here. And when I say it's deep, I mean it's deep. Because I'm thinking this one spot right here, it's probably got to be at least two feet, like the, right here and back over there on the other side of the persimmon tree right there. So all this water goes down this ditch right here. I think it's hitting the banana right there. That's not in a good spot. I've already said in other videos that this banana's got to go. I love this banana, but it's got to go. But I do know that the other tree trunks come down here. Oh, I can feel I'm stepping on one. Yep, there it is. So yeah, there's another tree trunk right there. Oh, that guy's cool. If anybody knows what that is, drop that in the comments. What is that thing? Always so many cool bugs out here. So anyway, the water is gonna come down through here, uh, back around, come back down here to the storm drain we have, which does look like it is still flowing. It's all that water coming from down here, around the tree and down into it. And you can probably see right here, there's more large branches and trunk pieces. I figured those would help, I guess, slowly break down and keep the soil from washing back into the ditch that I dug. And eventually I'm sure it'll just form a nice little humic mass, if you will, and allow all the water to continue to drain there. And I know that 3D really isn't the uh, camera's best angle here, but that is a quite deep drop off from that chunk of the, uh, the branch right there down. That's probably uh, an eight inch long piece. So once it gets built up coming down this area right here, those branches and everything are probably around 14 or so inches deep. Coming around the other side of the back fence, this area here goes down the other way. I have no idea why they decided to oh, drain this half of the yard going away from a very close train, but whatever. Hey, if you guys enjoy this video, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. It does a small channel like this a lot of good. So from here, this all drains down this way, comes back down here to this corner, goes down underneath the fence and continues to go to the next storm drain over here. And all this area over here along the, uh, the back side of the fence here, no squish whatsoever. Ooh, that's a lot of squish. This grass is just extra squish. So this is what it sounds like. It's just squishy, squishy, squishy all over the grass. Let me tuck myself in behind the fence here because I was kind of curious to see, yeah, even with about six inches of mulch, uh, it's, it's deep back here and it really doesn't look like this is flowing at all. That's not a good thing. Ooh, there's a lot of mosquitoes back here too. But it does lift up pretty quickly from the fence back there where you can see the, uh, the reflection of all the water there and it comes up a good foot or two by the time you get up here to this beam here and all this is supposed to drain back over here to this corner and this is all very nice and soft stuff back here and you might be able to pee back there yeah there's a there's a drain down there it's clear but it's just barely trickling it's not graded so great back here it's so squishy so overall the 13 or so inches of rain that we got was actually handled really well by these wood chips I don't have any major complaints where the wood chips are at least. Now the grass is another story. It's gonna be another week or so before that dries out enough to mow. I just imagine how tall that grass is gonna get. But the backyard itself, all these wood chips, it's very nice to just come back here and walk around. Even between the bands of the tropical storm, it was no problem to come back here, walk around a bit, be able to get my outdoor green space time and walk around without any wet feet wet shoes and I have to worry about it. The wood chips cut me uh, above water. The only downside to all of this rain is I would say that even with me walking around, just all the rain, all the moisture, it's gonna cause the wood chips to sink a bit into the dirt. They're gonna start breaking down just a little bit faster probably. And then I'm gonna have to refill a lot of areas a little bit sooner than expected. But in all that's quite all right. I don't mind it one bit. Something of note is just how much fungus will start growing when you get that much rain. I seem to have fungus growing all over the place now. Let me see if I can find some more. Oh, I know it's a really cool one. So I noticed walking around earlier that there was mushrooms growing on the side of my banana. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Mushrooms hanging off the side of a banana, acting like they're growing in a forest. Mushrooms, mushrooms everywhere. If I would have thought enough to bring this out in the morning time, there were little mushrooms all over the place, about like three or four different species or types of them. Oh, here's a nice little cluster of a few more. So we got some more mushrooms over here in, in this area. I'm not sure what kind of mushrooms any of these are. I'm not the kind of person that would go eating mushrooms that I found growing underneath my fig tree, but yep, uh, th there's a nice little mushroom right there. There's more of the same ones back over here behind the Awapui ginger. These over here, these guys were growing all over the place. They had more of a, a, the brown black tops. That is one thing that will happen with the uh, wood chips. If you go dumping a bunch of them in an area, 
you will definitely see a lot of mushrooms popping up whenever it rains a whole lot. And over here behind the bamboo and the blackberries, there's some of these guys right here and some more over here. Those ones are pretty fresh. I didn't see those earlier. 